Alrighty, so I'm not sure if, first off, you can hear the background so much. But we're going to fire it off again today. So let's go to full screen. And let's begin. So, hello, we are on redactyl number 60 at this point. Um, so I'm not quite sure if I can pull it off today, so let's give it a shot. Blank or blank, off blank, blank or blank. Okay. This is a physics or science. This is a scientific term. It could be chemistry, could be physics, could be mathematics. Okay, this is a chemistry term, I think. I think this is an acid base related because I'm seeing an A here. So I'm going to try acid or N base. Oh, <laughs> nice. I'm not surprised I got that in first try. That's amazing. That is another one from me. Another short video, sadly. Um. For the first, uh, okay, I'm actually pretty happy I got it in the first try. I have no way, I didn't even consider anything else. So my strategy for this round was to just scroll again. Um, yeah, I also note that I only start these videos when I click the go, when I press record. So like, I this is my first time seeing this. Okay, so I broke it down quite correctly though. I knew, I figured it's a scientific term. So I scroll a bit further down to see if there's anything that comes up. My next strategy was to figure out whether it was a physics, chemistry, or it could be a statistics term. Um, what I did figure out, though not as obvious, was the fact that it was a um, chemistry or physics term. But i more likely chemistry term because I saw this and I thought to myself that that's an equation in chemistry so that immediately kicked in again and then when I scrolled a bit further down I got it because of this um, I saw the capital A and the reason why the capital A stood out to me was because when I was learning chemistry they would often use the H dash A notation in which that means that you're dealing with an acid and its conjugate base so, and it further was confirmed when I scrolled a bit further down. No, when I scrolled to this section right here and I saw the A by itself here. I'm trying to see what else did I find it from. I think it's because I saw a smaller A as well. And this is the one that gave it away for me because I knew the notation of an acid for its specifically acid, which would be H dash A is what I've used before. I was actually considering it could have been base, but I didn't go for it primarily because I saw the A already. If it was going to be the base, the notation I think for that would be a HO dash B. So that's pretty nice. Anyway, updates from me. Not much has happened. In fact, um, I finished my classes a while ago. So any all my requirements are kind of free to go at least but now i'm going to be not fo going to be slightly focused into this um i guess that's it for me um i'll just link somewhere on the top right my, my video from last from yesterday i which was specific to the puzzle from yesterday and I guess that's about it. Um, if you have anything you want to share about my style, if you how you solved the redactyl today, if you guys if you got stuff or how you went about with it, um, that's about it from me. Um, I will be back tomorrow for another um redactyl attempt. So yes.